What's cracking, people? It's your man, Cousin T, a.k.a. the Alpha Wingman, representing high-level technicians operating globally and beyond. So listen, today I wanted to go into part two of the three-part series, The Logistics of a Threesome. Now, in part one, um, I went over the five reasons why most men will never successfully carry out the threesome. But I also highlighted the reasons why I believe that every man should at least attempt the threesome. Now, in this part, I'm going to go over the who, how, and where regarding the logistics of a threesome. Now, let's just say you've overcome three out of the five reasons why most men will never enjoy a threesome in his lifetime. You've cleverly enlisted the aid of a social seduction coach such as myself. And now it's time to approach getting this adventure in motion. Starting with who? Well, for beginners, it's best to have a primary familiar to start the pair of women in your threesome. Now, the primary familiar is the first woman, okay? The first woman is the woman who you are more so familiar with uh, when you're approaching the second one. And my personal recommendation is that your primary familiar should probably not be a girlfriend or a wife. Now, this is not to say that there are not exceptional women that uh, guys are in relationships with. And obviously the exception to the rule would be uh, a romantic partner or a girlfriend or wife who is not only um, keen on the idea of her man enjoying a threesome, but is down for assisting and getting it done. Here's a shocker, gentlemen. Most Western women could care less about the satisfaction of her guy, that, that man who's providing for and protecting the business arrangement called marriage. She is of the mentality that you need to take this rationed kitty and be grateful. <laughs> Gentlemen, that'd be a hilarious line if it weren't the truth. <laughs> so regarding the who um, and this list of the logistics of the threesome, I invite you to refer to my podcast about the levels of the D and uh, select man's roster for your threesome um, partner. Your best option would be the ride or die chick. Now, this is obviously something that I go into further detail on the Patreon side, but I'm going to link the levels of the D video uh, down below for those who are not familiar. There are different levels uh, on a select man's roster, and depending on where uh, a familiar woman falls within his ranking system, that's how he will deliver the D. But for the purposes of a threesome, I recommend the ride or die chick being your primary to assist you in going to get that third all right let's look at how well if this is your first time then you need a game plan obviously some guys can look up on the threesome but let's be honest the vast majority that actually come to fruition are the result of having in mind how you and your ride or die will approach the potential third. Will it be at a bar? Will it be online? Will it be at a club? Will it be in town, out of town? These are the elements of the game plan that you and your ride or die need to discuss. Discuss these, uh, these details um, so that you get an understanding of how you're going to approach uh, either with your ride or die chick or if you're going to send her out to get the third. Gentlemen, it's a fun conversation to have and you actually really get to know more about how women think slash feel. And 
it shows you how you as a man are wired, which in turn better prepares you for the pending adventure and the expansion of your purview of human dynamics overall. Gentlemen, this is why I recommend that all men at least attempt, if not execute, a successful threesome in the first place. You see, in a select manosphere, it's all about growth. It's all about evolution. It's all about understanding yourself, your environment, and your world. Most people just hear the word threesome and they, they, they think that it's just a concept or it's just a fantasy or it's just something to throw around. But when you really look at it with the eyes of a masculine master, it really is one of those interfaces and exchanges of energy that provide a teachable moment on many different levels. So lastly, let's approach the where aspect of the logistics of a threesome. So an environment that a man has control and dominion over is not only a key to masculine mastery, but when a woman doesn't have to be concerned for her safety, her comfort, and uh, the function of her immediate space, she's extremely likely to let her true sensual nature explore, just fly freely. So what you need to do is pick the location yourself, either your place or a hotel room. It should also go without saying that the space should be mood friendly, meaning the lighting, the scent aroma, the music, the pillows, drinks, etc. should all be on point. Finally, gentlemen, as always, practice safety, use protection. I will link other videos uh, that I refer to men's reproductive health on this side, uh, just as a cautionary tale. The safer you are, the more comfortable the environment you provide, the more conducive to the experience actually happening. And when you don't have to have all of those things running in the back of your mind, you're more in the moment. And that's really part of the essence of carrying out a successful threesome. Now, strap in gentlemen, because next up is the final part of the series, the logistics of the threesome. In part three, we're going to go into how to get it done. That means how you as the man needs to manage the threesome. It's finally happening. You are there. You have the two women there with you. How do you physically get this done? Stay tuned. And as always, this is your man, Cousin T, a.k.a. the Alpha Wingman, saying stay sharp and mission focused. Later.